I'd keep dancing on my own What's up, my beautiful people? Welcome back to my DIY of Life channel. <laughs> Alright, so right here, what you guys are looking at is a big old fat slob of juicy meat. It is actually London broil. It's one and a half pounds. And I'm going to be actually using the broil to cook it. But um, all I use for the seasoning is just paprika and seasoning salt. And then regular salt and pepper. And then what I'm going to do is just cover it in oil. And then season it up real nice. And then let it marinate in, um, in room temperature for about an hour. Um, they do say a little bit longer is better, but I do mine for about an hour, a little over an hour is okay, but make sure you leave it out at room temperature while it's marinating. But, um, right now I'm just putting oil all over it, you know, rub that baby nice, and then I'm just grab my seasoning. Just hold on real quick. Gotta get the lids. Alright, and um, just throw as much as seasoning as you like on it. Um, I never am shy with my season seasoning, especially when it comes to meat. I always like to use a lot of seasoning. Um, but also, you don't even have to use the seasonings that I am using. You could use whichever you like. I also um, really love, especially for steak, is the... Um, Oh goodness, it's Lowry's, it's the steak, it's steak seasoning, I can't exactly remember what it's called, but um, like I was saying, you guys could use whichever seasonings you, you like, it will work out, or it'll taste just as fine. Um, also, I don't have garlic salt, and I always love using garlic salt too, so, but like I said, just season it to whichever you prefer, and then that is about it, you guys, for the first step. Um... Like I said, just make sure you um, marinate it. And also, if like say you don't have enough time to marin or you know to marinate it for an hour or two, and you got home off of work late or something, you just want a quick dinner. You don't have to marinate it. I didn't. Um, one time I um, didn't marinate it, and it came out just as good. So. Um, but it does come out, I did notice, when you do marinate it at room temperature for an hour, it does come out a little more tender. So, um, But yeah, that is about it. You guys just season it up really nice and let it sit. And then what I will be doing is um, letting my broil preheat. And I will show you guys as soon as... Um, my oven preheats but right now I'm still just seasoning taking my time uh, I am doing a voiceover right now I don't know what happened to the actual um, volume in this clip but it wasn't there so I had to do a voiceover but it's okay you guys don't mind my voice is beautiful anyway <laughs> alright you guys so I'm almost about done seasoning it and then once you get done you know you always gotta Make sure it looks good. Take a nice long look at it. And yeah, looks about good. Alright guys, see you soon. Alright you guys, so the meat has been marinating at room temperature for a little over an hour. So now what I'm doing is just preheating my oven. And what you do is you put your broil on to the highest. Mine goes up to 425. But... That's all I do right now. If you don't have a broil, it's okay. Just turn your oven on to either 375, be between 375 and 400, and um, it cooks just as well. Um, it may take a little longer, but uh, the I love using my broil, but that's what I'm doing is just waiting till my oven gets preheated, and then I'm just going to stick it in, and I let it cook. 15 minutes on each side all right all you beautiful people it is time to put the meat in the oven all right 
food. Doesn't that look all good and juicy? So now just place it in your pan and what I did is I just quickly chopped up some onions that I'm actually going, yeah, I'm going to throw these on top first and then just throw some butter on top of that. That is it everyone. And then like I said just 15 minutes on each side. And make sure you check it. That's how. Uh, um, Devin and my daughter Skylin like it. What is it called? Medium rare? You like your steak? Yep. Medium rare, so. If you like it more well done, you can cook it longer. Now just throw it all up the butter. That's all done. Alright, so once your oven's preheated and you have it all nice and seasoned up and marinated, you just go ahead and throw it in and let her on cook for 15 minutes and then flip her over and then another 15 minutes on the other side. So I will see you guys here shortly. Alright guys, I'm back. Did y'all miss me? <laughs> All right, now it's time to flip that big old piece of slab of meat you got. Just gonna flip it with the onions so that it's on the bottom. So just take it. And... Trying to do this with one hand, so it's a little complicated. But here we go. Let's flip it. <laughs> Alright guys, so now let it cook for another 10 to 15 minutes and then check it and see how it looks and that is about it. So I will see you here shortly when I cut it up. But first you do want to let your meat rest for a good 5 minutes. So as soon as I let it rest and I will show you guys what it looks like on the inside when I cut it up. But that is about it. A quick simple steak dinner. Thank you so much for clicking on my video today and staying through the whole video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, hold on, my TV's up really loud. Let me actually turn it down so you guys could hear me. Son's watching his show. I'm doing my um, outro. I'll be out there in a second. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> Hmm. All right, so what was I saying? Thank you for clicking on my video. And um, real quick, I did want to tell you guys just some random things that happened in my life. Um, last night when I was editing my hair video, go check that out. I just posted it. Um, but anyways, as I was editing my video, we heard this huge bang. And um, it scared the living crap out of me, but... Devin went to go check outside and a freaking tree fell on the back of our roof on um, our back stairs. How crazy is that? It was so loud. Our neighbors actually heard it and even came out. Yeah, it was crazy. I'll throw up some pictures, but um, it wasn't like a giant tree, but it did dent up um, the top of the roof a little bit and then dented up our fence. Um, but it was just how crazy was that, um, thank God it wasn't, you know, bigger and actually hit the whole house, so. Anyways, just a little crazy story I had to let out and let you guys know. But I hope you liked this cooking video. Didn't that look good? It actually was, the steak was amazing. I didn't, I just took a little bite. That is one thing with me and steak, I don't, not that, you know, 
really big on steak. Uh, some days I would rather have a salad, which I did have. <laughs> yes, I know, and yes, you do see goldfishes in my salad. Like, who doesn't eat goldfish in their salads? Like, come on. But anyways, uh, the picture I showed you with the steak dinner, that was actually Devin's, and then I just had a salad, but I'm not on a diet or anything, like I said, I just sometimes don't feel like having steak unless it's like drenched in steak sauce, and people say, what's the point of that, it just ruins the taste, so a lot of times I would rather not have a steak, I would choose something else, but Devin and my daughter love eating steak, so... Enough with this chit-chatting and jabbling. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys that I love you and I appreciate you all. And please subscribe and hit that bell to make sure you're up to date on all my videos. I am trying to. I'm actually on a roll. This is like my third video in the third day. So I'm actually on a roll this year. So hopefully 2021 I'm shooting for being more consistent with my videos and trying to maybe get on a schedule but I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I have a crazy life and being consistent with videos right now until maybe my kids get into school but I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, I love you guys so much. Thank you for listening to all my talking and talking and gabbing and blah blah. Mm-hmm.